Hello everyone, welcome to today's Kids Spot. So today, I want to talk about what are your plans for the future? What plans do you have coming up? Are you planning to go into a certain career? Are you planning to travel? Are you planning to spend time with family? Are you just planning to go out for lunch this afternoon? What are your plans? Now, I have this perfectly clean, perfect piece of paper. And let's just pretend that this is your plan or our plan for our lives. This is exactly what we want to do and this is what it looks like. It's pristine, it's perfect, it's, it, there's no creases in it, there's nothing wrong with it at all. And I place it on here. I want to see whether this plan can support my little car here, support me in this little car. Let's see what happens. It doesn't at all, straight away. It folds under the pressure of life. That's where following God and following God's plan comes into thing. See, our life is that we want it to look like this. But God, through God, there's twists and turns. Things happen, sometimes bad things like sickness or... Um, or tough times, arguments with family or friends, lost relationships, those things, they create little creases and, 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 and um, turns in our life that kind of, at the time, feels like it's messing, messing it up. But we know God has a plan. Now my piece of paper is no longer perfect, pristine and clean. It's kind of like a little concertina squished up piece. But let's see whether after going through all God's trials and listening to God and, and following God's ways, whether it will hold up and support my life. It does. And I think it can support more than what I initially believe what it initially could when I was just make going on the things doing things my own way when I follow God and and follow his plan I'm able to do far more than I ever imagined it reminds me of this verse in Jeremiah 29 11 which says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future now God said that to the Israelites um, promising that as long as they followed his ways th that his plans for their life and their, the, their, the generations to follow is a plan of hope and future. So when we are making decisions, when we've got to think about the plan, our plans for our lives, if we trust in God through it all and if we follow God's ways and follow God's, tr um, God's plan, our, we will far exceed what we can ever imagine. So this week, when you are faced with a decision or when something unexpected happens, just take a moment to pray and think and ask God, what would you have me to do? Why are you wanting me to go through this situation? What is there for me to learn? And just trust and follow his direction and his leading. Thanks for listening and I'll see you all next time.